Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Make It Make, where I always try to encourage you guys, if you can't get it to make, then make it make with what you have in your house. Anyway, um, I haven't done an update on our quail in a little bit. They're five weeks old today, and I had to separate my males and my females today because they're five weeks. And you know, it's, it's a good time, you know, around that those couple weeks to start separate them because in a week or two, they're gonna reach sexual maturity and stuff like that. So I thought I'd do a video and show you guys how to feather sex your quail, you know, and basically what that means is, you know, telling through their feathers if they are male or female. So I'm gonna uh, go into the coop right now. I'm gonna pull out a female and show you what that looks like. All right, so here we have a female so these guys, they look so much better than, well, it's all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. Um, they look so much better than last time because they were still sort of like getting their feathers in at three weeks. But I don't wanna uh, stress this one out too much. Hold on. Aw. Get one that's less jittery here. Okay, so you can see by her feathers here, um, the speckle that you have here, that beautiful speckle, spe ugh, speckle that she has here. Sorry, I'm not able to talk right today. That's a female. That's how you can tell that this is a female, just by these beautiful uh, black and brown uh, speckles that she has here on her chest. You're doing good. Now, this is a male right here. No, he's not happy at all. Uh, he doesn't have any speckles. You see that? No speckles. It's just sort of like a nice... Um, amber color chest, sort of a brown, light brown chest that he has here. Uh, that's how you can tell that that's a male right here. So here they are right next to each other. This is the female because of her speckled chest that right here. And here is the male, female and male. Okay, so I have about 11 females in here, 11 hens and two roos, two males. And you want to keep the ratios like four to five hens to one is what you want to do. And I have a small flock here. It's a, a little bit smaller than what I had originally wanted, but my hatch rate wasn't as, it didn't go as well as I, as I wanted it to go, but that's fine. I'm going to hatch them out again and try to get my, you know, coop up to its full capacity. But I'm going to show you guys where I keep my males right now and kind of show you what I'm doing with them. Okay, so this is where I've been keeping my males. Again, I said earlier about separating them because they're gonna reach sexual maturity here soon. Um, it's always good to separate them because I don't want them to overbreed my hens. And I told you about that ratio earlier. If they overbreed my hens, I start getting hens that have bald heads because basically what happens is the uh, male will grab the female by the feathers in the back of her head and pull her back. And they'll just keep doing that over and over and over again. So that's why it's so important to make sure that your ratios are okay because your hens will just be completely overbred and exhausted. So these guys will stay here until they're about 10 weeks and at that point they'll just be called. Okay, so that is the update with our quail. They are five weeks old, and the next thing to start looking for in the next couple of weeks, and I mean like two weeks or so, is that they're going to be laying eggs for us. And that is always super exciting, you know, especially when you started out having them as eggs or chicks and you brought them this far. Seeing the egg for the first time is always a thrill. So anyway, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learn and please leave your comments below on your experiences that you have had with quail or any tips or tricks that you have. I love learning from you guys. You know, you're never above learning no matter what. And as always, God bless.